everybody, it's Ms. Smith. So today we're gonna to talk about electron configurations. Now, why I wanna spend some, some good amount of time on this. And so there's actually three things um, within electron configurations. This one's called electron configurations. The other one is called noble gas configurations. And the other one is called orbital diagrams. Now normally I try to teach all three of those in one day, um, but that's when we're on block schedule. So, um, I'm now going to split them up into three days. So those are the three things that we are doing this week. Um, so today we're going to talk about noble gas configurations. No, excuse me, electron configurations. And so uh, I normally have a periodic table for you to label. And then you actually put it in your notebook. You color a little bit and you put it in your notebook. Um, but, you know, all you have is this periodic table that I have given you. It looks like this, and there's some stuff on the back. I'm hoping that you got one of these. Everybody should have one of these. If you don't have one of these, let me know so I can get you one. I have several extras that I can give you. Um, but the whole reason why I didn't put this in, uh, I didn't laminate this, was because I wanted you to be able to pull this out and add notes to it. So normally, when I give a test for electron configurations, I don't allow you to have a periodic table with your notes on it. Um, but because we're virtual, things are a little bit different. Um, so if you want to go ahead and label this periodic table today, I'm okay with that. You can do that, and I do suggest that you do that. Just remember, this is the only one that you have, so um, just make sure that you um, don't mess up when you do it. Um, so it will eventually look something kind of like this. This is the one that I have in my notebook. This is the notebook that I that we make. Um, and so it'll look something kind of like this. Um, so when we're doing this, it'll be the first thing I do when I open up my notebook. Um, when we're doing this, we, you're gonna need four colors, four different colors, and so I'll use four different colors when I do mine. And so I'm actually gonna show you how to label it, and so and I'll give you an acronym to help you remember how to label it. But for you to do electron configurations, noble gas configurations, and orbital diagrams, you have to have this periodic table, the one that's labeled with all of these colors and everything. You have to have that. So there's really no option of you not doing this. So you've got to label your periodic table. Otherwise, you're not gonna get any of these questions right in all three days this week. You are not gonna know what to do. So please make sure that you do this. All right, so go ahead and um, get those four colors out and what you all you have to do is all I did for this is I just put a piece of tape right here so all you have to do is just take some scissors and cut this spot and you'll be able to pull it out so go ahead and get that ready we're fixing to get started so here's the periodic table that I pulled in um, this is just from our Wander website um, so this periodic table is actually kind of old um, because these have now been discovered. These are blank because they weren't discovered when this periodic table was um, printed up and created. Um, not, I'm not saying created like the periodic table was discovered. No, I'm talking about when this particular document was made is what I'm talking about. And these elements were not known at the time. They are now all known and all named. Um, even the periodic table that I have in my own classroom, these are filled in, but it's with nicknames. Um, up until I think it was 2018 when they finally found the last one, number 100, 118 Agnesen something. I don't even know how to say it. It's some kind of crazy name that I don't know how to say. But anyway, <laughs> Agnesium maybe. I don't remember. Um, but they just found those a couple of years ago. I don't want to say found. Um, those are all synthetic elements. So that means that they created them in the lab. Okay. So the periodic table, the best one for you to label is going to be the one on the back of that sheet, the little periodic table. The big one that says periodic table of ions, we are not going to use that until next unit. So please do not label the periodic table of ions. Um, that one is for later. You will have to label that one next unit. So leave that one alone. You are going to label the small one on the back. It says periodic table of elements. So do not label the periodic table of ions. Okay, so we're gonna start off and I'm gonna zoom in. Well, let me tell you something first. Okay, so basically what electron configurations are is you know how we have latitude and longitude and you're able to pinpoint exactly where something is on the earth, latitude and longitude. It's the same kind of thing for the periodic table. So the electron configurations directly pinpoint 
where the element is on the periodic table. So just like you have directions like north, south, east, and west, we have four blocks, S, P, D, F. So um, I'm going to write down some information. This is the acronym that I teach everyone. So I'm going to go with, I'm going to go ahead and decide on my four colors. So let's make S stands for stupid. I know this is a terrible acronym, but trust me, <laughs> you will remember. I always had a professor in college. He said, make it dumb, make it ridiculous. You won't forget it. Okay. So that's why this is completely ridiculous. This acronym that we came up with a couple of years ago. Um, now I don't believe in this statement at all. So don't come at me. You know, it's just funny. It's not, I don't believe in it at all. But anyway, so stupid is going to be, so S is going to be orange. So this is actually a lowercase S. So let me draw this again. So all of these letters are lowercase. I'm going to do P for people. And then I'm going to do D for die. And then let me find another color. Let's do purple for F for first. Now I'm sure there's some other acronym we could have come up with, but this is just what some student yelled at me one day. And because we were trying to come up with an acronym about three or four years ago. And this is what they yelled and it stuck and it was really funny. And so everybody remembers this like all year long. You will not forget this because it's crazy. And well, it's not true at all. But anyway, um, it's just funny and you won't forget it. Okay. And so there's some numbers that go along with this. So um, let's go back to this orange color. One, two. three and four. Okay, now the numbers will make sense in a minute. I now want to show you where S, P, D, and F are. Okay, so let's start with S block. So I'm gonna zoom in. So over here is where S block is. So all I'm gonna do is do a little outline all the way around S block like this. I'm so proud of my lines. I'm doing so well. I could not do this on a regular sheet of paper. Okay, so this is S block. Okay, so in my labels, um, you know, I made S orange. So this is S block, but there is the exception helium is part of S block. So we also need to make sure that we say that helium is part of S block. Okay, so go ahead and take a couple of seconds to do that. This is what it looks like. That is S block and we made orange is S. Okay, so go ahead and take a second to do that. Pause the video if you have to. All right, so let's do P. So let me go get this turquoise color. P block is over here, all of these. No, I'm not gonna include that bottom row just because we're not gonna write electron configurations for those, so I'm not gonna include it. It's not really that big of a deal. But this is P block, and so P block is this turquoise color. Okay, so let's do D block. So let me go get this red color real quick. Let's do D block. So and I'll explain why I left those two out in just a minute. Let me write this down first. So I'm gonna go ahead and include this row here just to make things easy on us. So go ahead and do that for um, D block and I'll wait and just pause the video if you need to. All right, and let's go ahead and let's do F block. Now, this is where this weird little actinum and lanthanum comes in. Actinum and lanthanum, excuse me, actinium and lanthanum 
is actually the first ones in F block. Okay, so these, these should actually be right here. Okay, this is, you know, I chose a poor periodic table when I chose this, but I hate that people keep doing this because the my periodic table in my classroom is different and it's still, I hate it anyway. It makes things difficult, but remember that all you gotta know is you gotta remember that these actually belong right here is where they should go. These two are the first ones. Um, so on your periodic table that you are labeling, you just have some blank spots right here. So you don't need to put anything there. So you just have blank spots there. So, and then yours are included right here already. So that's great. My periodic table is a little bit different than yours, uh, but that's okay. Um, what I do want to point out is that lutetium and lawrencium, all the way down here at the bottom, is going to be P block still. Okay, now this is at the end of your F block. But these, you know, that blank spot that you've got right here, these two should actually be right there. That's what should be happening. Why somebody did this to this period table, I don't know, but it makes me mad every time. Um, because it's ridiculous. So these should be here, and then yours are already here. Yours already exist there. Okay. But if you're having a hard time understanding what I'm talking about, all that you need to know is that F block has 14 elements. So, and I'll explain that in just a minute. So I'm going to go ahead and color this purple so you can go ahead and do this with me. Pause the video if you need to. So, um, okay, so I said that F block has 14, so let's count. One, yours would be right here actually. Two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14. Okay, F block always has 14. So let me add these little notes for you. F block always has 14, D block is always 10 across, P block is six across, and S block is always two across. So this is what I'm talking about. So S block only has two ever. Two there, 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 okay? So they have two across always. P block has six across, six and six and six and six. Always, always, always has six across. D block always has 10 across, 10 across there, 10 across there, 10 across there. Technically there's a 10th one and it's right there because this is nine plus the one more, there's 10. This is also nine plus one more. Okay. So what we're gonna do now is, so now that we got our SPDF, our North, South, East, and West for our latitude and longitude, is let's go ahead and do this for an element. Let's go ahead and write these latitude and longitudes for an element. So I'm hoping by now you have written this down. So I'm gonna go ahead and erase this so I have room to do problems and still be able to see this periodic table. Okay, something I forgot to do is we've gotta label these things, okay? There's numbers that go with them. Now, let me write back, oh, I gotta write all this back. Let's see how I'm Oh, there we go. Okay, didn't have to write it back. So if you notice, I put a one underneath S block. That's because S block starts numbering on one. So I'm gonna do all the, the labels in black. So I'm gonna come on here and go one S, two S, three S, four S, five S, six S, and seven S. Now, these are the labels that you will need. You need these labels, write them down. If you do not, you will miss every single question for this entire week, okay? Write these labels down, you need them. All right, um, also remember that helium is part of S block, so helium is one S technically. Okay, so then we said that P block starts on two. So P block starts numbering on two. 2s, 3s, 4s, 5s, and 6s, and there's 7s we never really get into, so I'm just going to leave that alone. Okay, um, D block starts numbering on 3, okay? Now, 
the reason why this is the way that it is, is we're gonna have 3s, 4s, 5s, and, no, excuse me, not s, 3d, 4d, 5d, 6d. Did I write, oh, I wrote s on all of these, I'm so sorry. Uh, All right, so um, now we can label P block. And so if you remember, P block has is starting on number two. Now the reason why P block starts on two is because one P does not exist, does not exist, okay? So if you say something is in one P, somebody's gonna look at you dumb, like, like you're dumb because P, one P doesn't exist, okay? It starts on two P, it goes to three P and four P and 5p, and 6p, and 7p, eh, we never really get into there. I'm just gonna leave it alone. Okay, so then let's go on to d block. d block starts on three, and the reason why it starts on three is because there's no such thing as 1d or 2d on the periodic table. It doesn't exist. So we're gonna start with 3d, 3d, 4d, 5D and 60. Now remember, these on my periodic table actually belong right there. Yours are blank, so you're still going to label that 5D and 60. All right, and the last one is F block. Now F block starts on 4. So let's go down to F block. So 4F and 5F. So this is what it should look like when you are done. That has all of the labels on it. Okay, so if you need to pause this to finish labeling everything, go ahead and pause this. Um, but I'm gonna go ahead and erase this bottom section so I can work some problems. Okay. All right, so let's pick an element. I Let's go with hmm, fluorine. Let's do fluorine. Fluorine is right here. I'm gonna circle it for us. Where's fluorine right there? So let's do fluorine. now. On the periodic table, we are going to follow the number of electrons, because these are called electron configurations. We are going to follow the number of electrons, starting with number one, and going all the way through until we get to the element we want. So, the element with one electron is hydrogen. That's what that number one means. That's how many electrons hydrogen has. So we're gonna start with number one, which is right here, and we're gonna go this way. You always go this way when you're writing electron configurations every single time you do this, okay? So we're gonna start with number one because we've gotta go in order. So then we gotta go through number one because our element is actually element number nine. So I've gotta go all the way from element number one until element number nine. And I have to write down every single element I go through. So I've got to get here. I have to start here. So I'm gonna go number one and then go to number two. Okay, so let's write that down saying that we went through both of those. That's gonna be one S because both of them are in one S. And I went through both of them. I went through two of them. So I'm gonna put a two up here like that, a superscript two. So what that's saying is I went through both of these in one S. Okay, that's what that's saying. So um, then the next one is going to be after that. We're going to go, so we went through one and two. Let's do three and four. So there's three and four right there. Now they are in 2S, okay? They are in 2S. So I need to go through both of those because ours is over here. So that's going to be 2S2. Okay, then uh, we have gone through number three and number four. We've been through both of these. We jump across and we're starting in P now. See, it says 2P. So we're in 2P and we've got to go all the way to fluorine. So I'm going to go ahead and write down 2P. And now we just got to figure out how many in 2P. And yes, you need to include the, the element that you need. So one, two, one, two, three, four, five. So 2P5. 
and that's it. That's all that you do. So there is actually a way that you can check yourself. So what you do is you count up all of the superscript numbers, or the exponents we could call them, and they should equal your number of electrons. So fluorine had nine, so two plus two plus five is nine. So we're good. Okay, and then this is for, this was for fluorine. So let's try something else. Let's try one a little further down. Let's do um, ruthenium, which is RU. That is number 44. So if you want to write a little number up top, up there, so you know you need to get to 44, then you can go ahead and do that. That's fine. I do that for myself to just kind of help out a little bit so I know my goal and I can check myself at the end. All right, so we are again going to start at number one, and we're going to go all the way through until we get to number 44, which is right here. We're going to go all the way through. So it's way down there, but we're going to do this. We can do this. Okay, so let's start with 1s. So 1s, and I'm going to go through both of them. So 1s is right here. I'm going to go through hydrogen and helium. So I'm going to say 1s2. After hydrogen and helium, we have 2s, and I'm going to go through both of those. So 2s2. Then we have over here, we have three, no, excuse me, 2p, and we're going to go through all six of those. One, two, three, four, five, six. So 2p, six. After that is 3s, and we're going through both of those. 3s, two. After that, we can jump across, and we're going into 3p here. We're going to go through all six of those, 3p, six. After that, we do 4s. We do both of those, which is 4s2. And then after that, we jump into 3d. There's 10 of those, so 3d10. After that, we do, so we just went through 3d10, and we're into 4p. And we're still going through all six of those. So 4P6, I'm drawing on a second line now because I'm running out of room. Um, after 4P6, we do 5S2. 5S2, because we do both of those. 5S2, and we do 4D. Now it's in 4D. So I'm not going to put the exponent up there just yet because I have to count to see what number it is in 4D. So 4D, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. So 4d6. Now, that's it, that's all you write down, but let's check ourselves, okay? Two plus two is four, plus another six is 10. Two more is 12, plus another six is 18, plus two more is 20, plus 10 is 30, plus six is 36, plus two more is 38, plus six more is 44. So we are correct. Now. Um, what I'm going to do now is I'm going to give you, I'm going to erase this. Um, if you got stuck and you didn't like understand or didn't follow along with me and you're lost, you're going to have to rewind this video and try again. Okay, you, you've got to listen to the procedures that I'm giving you so you pick it up and you know where to go and you know what to write down. So if you didn't get it, stop the video, rewind it a little bit and go watch it again. All right, um, I'm going to give you one now. And let's do, let's do your, no, let's do, hmm, let's do Samarium, S-M. That is number 62. So that's this one right here. Okay. So what I want you to do is I want you to pause this video and I want you to try it out. Okay, I'm going to, when I give you the answer, I'm going to run through it rather quickly. So I'm hoping that when I go through the answer, you'll actually be checking yourself when you do this. So stop this video, try it out, see if you get it. If you don't get it, then you need to stop right now and ask me a question. Okay, so I'm going to go ahead and answer this question. So pause the video if you don't want to know the answer yet. All right, so we're starting with hydrogen. 
1s2, 2s2, 2p6, 3s2, 3p6, 4s2, 3d10, 4p6, uh, 5s2, 4d10, 5p6, 6s2. Now, this is where everybody gets confused. This is 6s2. Remember that you've got f block in here. f block goes in there. And what we're looking for is actually in f block. Now, lanthanum, your lanthanum is here. So we're going to count that. So we're going to go, so it's in 5, excuse me, it's in 4f, where it's at, 4f. So technically, these labels, let me move these labels a little bit, these 5d and 6d. So, hmm. And draw some of these lines back. Um, so 5D, actually this is, yeah, 5D and 6D over here, and then this is 5D and 6D. Okay, so these two are in 4F and 5F. So it is in 4F, remember lanthanum, yours is actually right here, so lanthanum. So lanthanum, one, two, three, four, five, six. Okay, and that's it. Now, I know that this is correct. I am not going to count this up because I'm just, it's a lot. So I don't want to do that. Um, but if you did not get this correct, stop what you're doing right now and send me a message. Okay.